This video is on gradients of straight line graphs. This is our table of values and these are the axes of our graph. The x-axes go across and the y-axes go up. The first point on our graph is 1, 5. So go across to 1 and up to 5. Next is 2, 8. 3, 11. 4, 14. And 5, 17. Next thing we need to do is draw a line of best fit which goes roughly through the centre of the points. This is the equation of a straight line and we're going to use it to work out the gradient and y-intercept of this line. x and y relate to corresponding points of x and y on the graph, so these coordinates. m is the gradient and c is the intercept with the y-axis. To work out the gradient, you need to understand that the gradient is the change in y divided by the change in x, which is written as dy by dx, where the d means change in. We work this out using the equation y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. y2 and y1 are points from the y-axis, x2 and x1 are corresponding points from the x-axis. For example, x1 and y1 might be 1 and 5. x2 and y2 might be 5 and 17. It can be helpful to draw a triangle between the points you're going to use on the graph. I'm going to use the points 5, 17, 1 and 5. So I will draw my line between those points now. So up here is 17, that point's 5, five one. Now we need to put these numbers into our equation. So y2 is 17, y1 is 5, x2 is 5, and x1 is 1. 17 minus 5 is 12, which means that this distance here is 12. Five minus one is four, which means this distance here is four. 12 divided by 4 equals 3. Therefore, m equals 3. To work out the y-intercept, we put this value of m into our equation, as well as corresponding values of x and y. So I'm going to use 2 and 8. The first thing to do is write y equals 3x plus c, just using our gradient we just worked out. I'm going to use value of y8, which means value of x2. 3 times 2 plus c. 3 times 2 is 6. So we've got 8 equals 6 plus c. That means 8 minus 6 equals c and c equals 2. On this example, you could read that off the graph because you can see that that is the y-intercept and you can see it crosses at 2. But in most graphs, it's not going to be as accurate to read it off the graph and you need to use this method. 
We've now worked out the gradient and the intercept of the y-axis, so we now know that our final equation is y equals 3x plus 2.